Hi, I have the privilege once again to talk to you about the cornerstones of thought, the values that we have as a culture here at Bethel and Reading. And it's the fact that God is good, it's that nothing is impossible, it's that Jesus' blood paid for everything, and that every person is significant. And today I want to talk to you about every person being significant. It's tragic that so many people just don't know how significant they are in God's eyes. God doesn't make junk. He doesn't waste his effort on anyone. He, he pours himself out because of the value, the significance. You know, if, if you look at it this way, God is the greatest businessman in the universe, and he invested the highest price to redeem even just one person. That highest price was his own son, and he did it so that the least of all of us could be redeemed. He has that kind of value. And the value of somebody is determined by what someone else is willing to pay. The value of any item. You can think your home is worth one thing, but if people aren't willing to pay it, it's really only worth what people will pay. Well, Jesus paid the ultimate price for people. And that significance needs to be realized. It doesn't lead to arrogance, not if you see it correctly. It leads to dependence. It leads to gratefulness. It needs to, leads to celebration. It leads to a proper uh, response of just wanting to honor God with our service and giving Him uh, our all, putting ourselves on the altar. It's, it's the real result of uh, seeing our significance. And the story that rocks me uh, that backs up this concept is the story of Jesus in John 13, where he ends up putting a towel over his arm and he washes the disciples' feet. There's a statement that leads into that act of incredible service. Here's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He's going to wash fishermen, tax collector, political zealots. He's going to wash their feet. He does it because this verse reveals the heart of it. It says, And Jesus, knowing that he had come from the Father, and was going back to the Father, Jesus knowing that all things had been put into his hands, put a towel over his arm and washed the disciples' feet. The concept that I want to address here is that when he realized who he was, can I say significance for our sake? When he realized who he was or out of his realization of his significance, he served. Anyone who really sees their significance, there will be a behavior. And that behavior is we will serve well. No one who sees their significance will want to build their own empire, build their own income. It won't be about building my reputation, building my whatever. It's, it's not about that. When you see your significance before God, all you want to do is serve. And when you see the significance of the people around you, you find out there's no one that's to be neglected. We get to actually celebrate and honor every single person. And that's the beauty of discovering the significance of every single person. I encourage you, try it. Look in their eyes and see who God made them to be and celebrate them and serve them well.